Hey guys, and welcome back to another video here from Techie Bytes. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Lenovo U430 Touch laptop. Let's get to it. Okay, the first thing I'm going to talk about is the price. The price is about 700 US dollars off Amazon when I bought it. That may have changed since then, but that makes it about a mid-range laptop. But to be honest, it outperforms that category. Let's talk about the design of the laptop. It feels good and isn't flimsy. It's got a nice metal design, and it looks a bit like a Mac, but I don't mind that. It comes in three colours, grey, red, or blue. I went for the grey. The Lenovo U430 Touch is classed as an Ultrabook and that means it should be portable, and it is quite portable. It weighs 1.9 kilograms and is 2 centimeters thick when shut, and that's pretty good. I haven't had any problems with weight, and it fits inside of my bag. So let's talk about the specs in the laptop. You get a Core i7 from Intel with a base clock speed of 1.8 gigahertz, turbo boost to 3 gigahertz. You also get a dedicated GPU from Nvidia, and you get 4GB of RAM, and a hybrid drive with 500GB of storage, and 8GB of SSD storage on top. So what do those specs mean? Well the Core i7 is really good. You get a dedicated GPU which you don't usually get on other laptops, and 4GB of RAM will be fine for basic multitasking. That hybrid drive means that your boot speeds will be really good. So these specs are really good for the price. Okay, let's talk about the software side of things. You get Windows 8 and a few of Lenovo's installed apps, and to be honest, they're a bit gimmicky and I've never used them. Anyway, let's keep on talking about Windows 8. Windows 8 is very different to Windows 7, so if you are a Windows 7 user, it's quite different and it's a steep learning curve. Luckily this laptop has a touchscreen, so Windows 8 is a lot easier with a touchscreen. The touchscreen is a 1600 by 900 panel, so it's not full HD which is not that great. It's also quite reflective and not that bright, so it won't do so well in direct sunlight, but using it indoors is fine. So let's talk about battery life. Lenovo claims up to 10 hours of battery life, but I got more like 6. To be fair, that was on full brightness and doing gaming. If you're just a normal user, you'll probably get through a full day doing win uh, word editing and internet browsing, so it should be fine for those sort of people. The keyboard is good, it's a backlit keyboard, and the keys feel nice. The shift key is quite small, so some people might have a problem getting used to it, but with all keyboards there's going to be a bit of a learning curve whilst you get used to the new keyboard. The trackpad is good, it's a nice clicky trackpad, and multi-touch gestures work on it. Let's talk about the ports you get on this laptop. You get a Lenovo One Key Recovery, an Ethernet port, one USB 3.0 port, and a headphone microphone combined jack. On the right hand side of the laptop, you get a power input, two USB 2.0s, and an SD card reader. The speakers and webcam are fine on this laptop. The speakers are good for listening to YouTube and videos and stuff like that. And the webcam will get you through Skype. But both are okay, so don't expect anything better. So what are my thoughts of the Lenovo U430? Well, I like it. It's a good value laptop, and it's nice and portable. I like the design, and the specs are decent. The only things which could be better are the screen, the battery life, and also the RAM as well. Could have done with a bit more RAM for video editing and stuff like that. But aside from that, I really like it, and I think it's a great laptop. So what do you think? Leave a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video.